Happy Monday everyone, this is Martha with Nature Niche and this week I want to share a fun event that you might not be aware of, um, Miles for Monarchs. This twice a year event is held by Monarch Joint Venture and it corresponds to the Monarch Butterfly's spring and fall migrations. So in 2023, the fall event is running August 28th through October 1st. In the fall, the super generation of monarchs migrate about 3,000 miles from their uh, summer breeding grounds with us in the northern United States and into Canada down to their overwintering grounds in the mountains of Mexico. And this super generation uh, lives eight to nine months, which is just amazing for a butterfly. Um, and their generation is responsible for starting the migration process back to the north the following spring. Monarchs migrate during the day, so you'll see them right now uh, flying. You might see one going. Uh, it's up pretty high and flying pretty fast in a southerly direction and um, they need to be able to have stopping points to rest and refuel with nectar and have a safe place to roost overnight. And uh, Monarch Joint Venture has a really fun interactive fall migration, um, actually multi-season migration map, but I'm going to share um, the fall migration part of that with you. Beginning in August, monarchs in both the east and the west begin migrating. Unlike the spring migration, they will complete this journey in one generation, arriving in their overwintering sites by November. So this Miles for Monarchs movement um, aims to raise awareness of and funds for the conservation of this iconic pollinator species. The online campaign is designed to engage participants in uh, personal wellness while supporting monarch conservation. You can participate um, individually or on a team. Uh, for example, uh, Wild Ones, another nonprofit, um, has organized a team for this event and registration is $14 with an optional um, additional donation to Monarch Joint Venture and um, with that registration you gain access to weekly Monarch educational materials um, their Facebook group to share your journey as you log miles for Monarchs um, with others, um, as well as discounted Miles for Monarchs uh, merchandise. So um, I hope you uh, consider participating and uh, their website has lots of information um, on how to do that. Uh, you can set your goals and then get out in nature and you can walk, run, roll, bike, paddle, swim, or any combination of those things um, to log your miles. And that can be self-propelled um, or motorized if you're using a mobility device. And once you're registered, you log uh, your miles um, online with them. So this is the event website. And you do that um, each week on Mondays. And so the funds for this event, they have lots of good information on their, on their website, but the, the funds that they collect from this uh, will go to Monarch Joint Venture. They're a nonprofit organization whose mission is to protect monarchs and their migration by collaborating with partners to deliver habitat conservation education and science across the United States. So the dollars you're donating um, will help conserve uh, monarch butterfly, its migration, as well as other pollinators. Monarch Joint Venture provides a participant toolkit document 
and that has guidance about observing pollinator habitat uh, during the challenge and how you can help monarchs um, beyond the, the challenge event. So as part of Miles for Monarchs, I hope you find a local nature center um, or Wild Ones chapter to do some fun pollinator monitoring, get out and observe and support uh, monarchs. I did want to put a plug in for a local event um, in Mid Midland, Michigan, uh, near our store. It's hosted by uh, Chippewa Nature Center and the event is mingling with the monarchs uh, and my friend Denny Brooks is going to be leading that. It is a butterfly tagging um, event and you can learn about uh, citizen science projects related to monitoring uh, monarch butterflies. It will be outside next Saturday, September 9th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the end of the homestead turnaround. If you're local, I hope you get a chance to get out and participate in this event. If you want to learn more about monarchs, I've done several Mondays with Martha uh, posts about that. You can go back to uh, number eight where I give a species overview, um, talk about the plight of monarchs, and show a release of a store reared monarch. Uh, in number 16, uh, Denny does a migration and tagging demonstration for us. And number 31, I give a federal listing update for the species. In number 59, I show a chrysalis formation. And in number 61, I talk about chrysalis development and emergence. In number 114, I go over three native uh, readily available milkweed species that you can incorporate into your landscapes as host plants for monarchs. And in number 163, um, I talk about the difference, how you tell apart monarchs and viceroy butterflies. So I hope those resources are helpful. And I hope you get outside and uh, work on your pollinator habitat, get to monitor some, um, and log some miles to benefit you and the monarchs. Take care and have a good week.